90% of nurses cannot identify this EKG rhythm. You see this chaotic twisting of the points EKG rhythm that's going on that kind of looks like VTAC? That's torsades or torsades de pointis. And if you immediately think you're gonna go straight to shocking it, you might be missing the whole point of what's going on. The first step to torsades is understanding that it's a chemical problem, not necessarily a rhythm problem like the rest of them. You see, everyone kind of sees this twisting rhythm at the top here and goes, let's just shock it till we recognize it. But torsades is actually caused by a low magnesium level or a prolonged QT segment. But what if they don't have a pulse? Do I shock them? Do I just give mag and hope for the best? Yeah, you're, you're still gonna treat this like a code, right? You're still gonna defibrillate them whenever they need it. However, you're also gonna be adding on this magnesium to make sure that they don't go back into torsades after you've just defibrillated them. The ACLS algorithm for this is actually pretty straightforward. You're gonna give one to two grams of mag, either IV push if they're pulseless or over five to 10 minutes if they have a pulse. Mag's kind of like amiodarone in this sense. It's the antiarrhythmic that's gonna keep you out of the rhythm, but electricity's gonna get you out of the rhythm initially. So when that monitor starts to twist and look really weird, well, that might just be torsades. What's a funky rhythm that you like seeing that you go, is that what I think it is? One is torsades, another one is a third degree heart block for me. I have to like really stare at it for a minute.